I'm one of a, a very small number that can actually do the knowledge. There are plenty of people that probably start the knowledge but just can't do it for whatever reason. Someone gets into the taxi, for example, they want to go somewhere and we've got a straight away, we know which way we're going to go. We know what direction we're heading in. But we may come across an accident, roadworks, something going on where we have to instantly change where we're going to do, where we're going to go which routes we're going to take i'm sure computers can do that but when it comes to things like sat navs we've proven it time and time again we will beat a sat nav hands down so obviously sat navs are amazingly good you know google maps will very much tell me where i need to go as an example um, but how that relates to the way humans plan and the best possible humans is a little bit unknown and you know, humans, taxi drivers, can plan all these amazing things after eating a banana. Their brains can run super efficiently at that. Whereas AI takes a lot of resources to do the same. So there may be some tricks and efficiencies we can learn from London taxi drivers that can build better AIs, but also better AIs that integrate with human mistakes and planning. So that's gonna help bring these two together. So the interesting thing about London taxi drivers is they spend two to four years training to master their knowledge of 26,000 streets and they carry on working with this knowledge. And what scientists have found is that the longer they've been working, the larger the posterior hippocampus becomes. Hippocampus is the key bit of your brain for memory and spatial memory. And so they get bigger, but unfortunately in Alzheimer's disease, that bit of the brain actually is one of the first to start getting smaller and smaller. So it may be that the kind of skills these taxi drivers build offset them against Alzheimer's disease. If we can learn from the taxi drivers how they do this, we might be able to find ways to improve people's brain function and avoid the burden of Alzheimer's disease in the future.